Hello, Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today for Ellie Studio, and I'm here to share with you a sketch-inspired layout. So there is the layout and the sketch to the top right over there, and this is a Ellie Studio sketch. So I'm using all Ed Ellie's Studio product in order to complete the layout. So you can three three see on the sketch there are three tags, um, and then there are the numbers one through three large underneath each tag along with a ticket. So I am using the uh, nesting tag metal dies to cut each of my photos and the intent is I showed you earlier these little pockets that I created so that is using a wheel memory creepers tool. I am going to um, use Ellie Studio pattern paper in order to create um, the pockets. Now I could have just die cut each of the pictures and used the pictures, but I've gotten really more into having interactive elements on my layout, having the viewer participate in the layout per se. They can't participate in the activity um, that I'm memory keeping, but they can be more interactive with the layout. And that's what I'm uh, aiming for here. Um, you pull each of the photos out of the pocket and then the last pocket has a three by four pocket card in it that has some of the journaling. So the color scheme here was inspired by, um, so first of all, the numbers are blue, so I had to incorporate the blue. And then if you look to the top left of the screen there, you will see there is a journal card that is pink and orange. I don't know that I have ever put those colors together in my life, um, but that is what inspired the pink and orange. And then I just liked the green with it um, because I did, I just wanted I normally don't use that many colors, but I am. So I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers scorecard, score, score, tool, thing, buddy, pal here to um, create pockets. Um, these are not measurements that are specified on the tool itself, but I am figured it out. It's pretty easy. Um, I want to say it's three, if you want to duplicate it, it's three and a half by seven and then you use the D notch in order to get the notch in there. So you can see three fun pockets. You can still see enough of the photo um, that you get the idea of what is going on there. So per the sketch, I've got the three tags that are going across. Um, and I wanted to incorporate something else into the layout. So there is definitely a header in the sketch, but I felt like by cutting this three by four card from the kit apart that I was able to integrate all of the colors. So that is the uniting factor. Again, if you follow my work, you know that I like to have one piece of pattern paper or something that unites all of the colors. And I felt like this piece, um, I believe this is from the thankful paper stack does exactly that. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That is a, that would is with the three by four card that is in this kit. Um, so that is a uniting factor. I also felt like it grounded the layout and provided um, something at the bottom so that you didn't kind of fall off of that edge. So again, per the sketch, um, the three numbers and then the three tickets. And so what I've opted to do is I've layered the tickets here. Again, I like to layer things. Um, I just feel like it gives some shadow uh, and some depth to the pages there. Um, so I'm being unusually particular for me and I am actually using a ruler, um, not my T-square. <laughs> uh, and those of you who follow my work will know my battle with my T-square. Um, and it wasn't that I was afraid of the T-square. It literally, I already had the ruler, I think, out on the desk. Um, and so that's why I just, for ease, I went with the ruler. Um, and so I'm layering things up here. I, um... So the bottom tag is from the die cuts available this month. And then the top tag is actually from the printables this month. Um, and I'm super in love with this color palette. It just, it makes me smile. It's a happy summer color palette. And this is actually a summer layout. Um, I have some summer photos and stories untold. And so that's what um, this is all about. So originally I had actually thought I was going to use that three by four green tag card in the pocket as well. Um, but I didn't want to obscure too many of the photos and you'll actually see in the close ups that I end up putting the tag behind. And when you pull out, um, the photo, you will see that that tag is back behind there, um, and telling more of the story. So I am going to use the three tags that are on the front of the layout that you see next to each of the numbers um, to journal that. So each of those numbered elements is 
a description of what's going on in the photo, not that you can't see by yourself, um, but it does tell part of the story. And then the continuation of the storytelling is on that three by four pocket card. So I am using double-sided foam on each of these uh, three numbers. And the reason for that being is I wanted to raise that up. You can see I've got the layers within the tags. And so by raising those numbers up, I provide even more of a layer. Um, it's almost like a third layer because that number is higher than those other elements there. So uh, I am pretty closely following the sketch. I think the only thing that I have not done is um, that is not on the sketch actually is that footer that I put on the bottom of the page there. And then of course I have used the elements that are in the sketch and I have just tweaked them. Um, and so you'll see how I continue to follow that sketch um, as I progress with the layout here. I don't normally cut like six pieces of double-sided foam <laughs> because I hate pulling the backing off of all of them, but I think I had a lot of pieces left over um, and so that's how we go. So there I'm showing you how pretty closely I have followed the sketch here. So um, off camera I gathered some other additional elements. I also gathered the little toppers for the tags. I'm going to skip this whole process, but I am using some of the Jane Navy Jane Alphas for my title um, that will say paddleboard. And then I'm going to use from the kit itself, the October kit, the fun um, to have a multi-font title. It's also multi-dimensional because those are chipboard pieces. Those are thick chipboard pieces um, for the letters fun. And so that is the title. And I am, that is pretty much the bulk of the layout. I just want to put a little bit more embellishment, sort of some of the finer details. So I'm going to put a little header. I'm just going to cut this tag top off. Um, I did save the bottom, hoping to use it for something, but I haven't found it a use for it yet, but I really like that green, that like um, bright, bright green. So in the sketch, I believe it calls for, uh, it's one of those tabs that we, that Ellie Studio has a, we, I'm part of Ellie Studio, right? That we have a, um, a, a metal die for, um, but I decided to use a tag top and then a banner that I just cut from pattern paper. It's the same pattern as the pink in the pocket there. Um, and then I'm scattering a few of the uh, stamps. So this is the Autumn Days stamp set that was released also in October. Uh, trying to find a pink that coordinates. It's hard to find a matching pink. I, pink is a hard color to coordinate for me. Um, I think yellow is too. There's something about that end of the spectrum, the color spectrum that's hard to coordinate. Red definitely for sure. Um, so I'm just going to use this heart with a circle around it. Um, and I think it's actually, yes, it is. It's the, the, the decor or the embellishment that is used, um, in the sketch itself. So that, uh, yeah, I, so I'm going to try and coordinate ink colors and, um, I'm going to use all of my pink fresh mini cubes to do that. And I'm reaching to get those cubes so that I can tell you the colors if you're interested. So the pink that I just used was um, ballet slipper. The green is grassy knoll. The orange is clementine. And the blue is blue jay. Um, and that blue jay is an absolute, I love that color. And it's a perfect match to the blue in the, the navy uh, large jane alpha, as well as the blue in those die cuts from the die cut pack that was released this month. Um, also in the stamp set, so a great fall stamp set, but also a great everyday use stamp set. You can see the little sparkles there. So you have um, this trio of sparkle and then you have the single sparkle. So I'm just, um, sparkling that around my layout in order to get um, just a little additional detail to it. So you could either go very basic with this and just leave all of that stamping out, or you could do as I did and take it a step further with the additional sparkle. So this was one of the dies in the kit itself. And so I'm turning it into a sort of a makeshift paper clip um, that has come in the kit like that sometimes. Uh, it is serving no purpose. It is not, it is a decorative 
purpose really um, but I really like the way that it hangs over the pocket and it sort of it, in a way it's an indicator that yes you can lift the tags out of the pocket there so here's some close-ups I hope you are inspired to play along with the sketch and if you do make sure to use the hashtag Ellie's studio um, so that we can check out your interpretation of the sketch thanks for stopping in today I hope you're doing well come back again soon take care <laughs>